I got a call in Wilmington today. Uh, actually, a unit we worked on recently, uh, uh, a package unit which had a grounded heater. The unit's frozen up now. And uh, this is a pretty old unit, so I mean, we could be dealing with a separate issue, or it could be something that was happening already that we didn't notice. So I'm, I'm curious to see what this one is. Uh, package unit frozen up. In the uh, last case, we had a bad blower motor and a grounded heater. Now, if the blower has another difficulty and it's somehow not working, then that would account for the freezing. Of course, low refrigerant accounts for the freezing along with a lot of other things. But uh, I'm very curious to see how this one's going to turn out. All right, well, there's our reason why our unit froze up. It wasn't the blower motor. It wasn't anything related to the last time. It was our wheel is broken off which has happened a few times but not this ironically so since it's Sunday I don't know what we're gonna be able to do about a new blower wheel that's gonna be an interesting one all right I have our blower housing here separated I brought the motor was laying inside the unit here uh, till today when I got the part slid the squirrel cage in through the end down here slid the motor down inside of it Tighten up the motor, I'm going to flip it over and tighten up the lock nut on the um, squirrel cage. Then I can slide it back into place and start it back up. And hopefully the motor is good to go. Okay, we're looking at the A.O. Smith Master Fit motor. It's now running. The fan is on. Uh, looks like the fan held up okay. You can see it working inside of there. Uh, we have a setup to replace a half horsepower motor. And we'll go check and see where I came up with that information. Basically it says that if you have half force, you'll be going with either high or medium high. As far as cooling and heating speeds, I just chose it to go on medium high uh, for both speeds. And the capacitor you'll use will be uh, 10 microfarad. So that's what we have up here on top, 10 microfarad capacitor. So let's see where we got the half horsepower from. Got our data plate here. Model number, serial number of the unit. And heat pump for outdoor installation only. You'd be surprised. Uh, R22, seven pounds, eight ounces. That's a factory charge. Indoor blower, one half horsepower. That's where you get the information. Even though it's a master fit motor, you had to match up the capacitor to the proper horsepower. So that is it. Our outdoor fan was a quarter horse, which I changed a couple years ago. Uh, someone had actually installed it and forgot to take the drain plug out, and it filled with water. It was destroyed. Uh, so that's where the information comes from about your motors. It's usually on the data plate whatever machine you're looking at. If it's a package unit, all of it should be on the data plate. If it's a split system, you know, you have the blower information at the air handler or furnace and the uh, outdoor information at the uh, outdoor unit. That's about it. We're good to go. I'm going to start it up on cooling because I know these people have been waiting for a couple of days and they'll be happy to see it. Okay, I actually adjusted the blower down a little bit because the uh, airspeed was a little bit too high. The outlets were getting, we'll say, excessive airflow. So I brought it down a notch. Uh, I switched the capacitor down a little bit as well. Uh, I felt like it had too too much torque on startup. I was putting too much air into the house. That's why I adjusted it a little bit, and now it seems to be more in line with what I wanted. And what I like to do is put a little gauge on there. You can see it's around 70 pounds, a little bit over 70 pounds, been coming up a little bit. Just to make sure, because I'd hate to work on this thing again and walk off, and then they call back and it's low in refrigerant or something like that. I just want to have a little bit of peace of mind because even though techs aren't responsible for some of these problems that happen in the future, if I can go ahead and hit a few and make it last a while, that's the best thing. You don't want to be the guy who looks like they don't know what they're doing because the machine keeps breaking down, even though it is a 20-year-old machine. Uh, it just looks bad, so I might as well just make a couple quick checks just to rule out some nuisance stuff.